Hello and welcome to this Construct 3 demonstration where you can see uh, uh, lasers being fired um, on objects and this is done using uh, ray casting. So you can see that the lasers uh, stop uh, their beam once they hit that uh, one of those solid objects at the bottom and if they if they don't they just continue off screen. Um, so how do we do that? Let's see, this is the main layout. Um, now, these are the different lasers. And these layers have uh, two behavior, essentially. They will move them from the left to the right constantly. And this is done by uh, using the sign behavior. You can see here the sign behavior has got a number of settings. But first and foremost, the movement is set to horizontal movement. In a sine wave, where uh, the period is 5 and a magnitude of 200 that takes care of moving the, the lasers from the left to the right at the speed you just saw. Um, and the second one is very important and um, that's the line of sight behavior. So the lasers have a line of sight behavior because then they can kind of look further on to the layout if there are obstacles in a certain direction. Um, and in order to do that, we have to tell them which obstacles it has to look for. Now, standard, this is set to solids, but these um, objects here have, do not have the solid behavior. That would have been one option, but uh, instead this is set to custom. And you'll see what it implies in just a minute. We have a range which is pretty far, which goes far beyond the uh, the height of the layout um, and the cone of view is very 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 narrow so we shouldn't be looking towards the left or towards the right you should actually be looking in a very narrow cone towards the bottom of the layout so that's uh, what's happening here with the sign and the line of sight uh, behavior um, here we also have these particle effects, the part, let's preview the particle effects, that's what the particles do, um, and at the end of the day, uh, the particles and the laser are uh, set into the same container. So you can see here, the laser is in the same container as the particle. So that means that uh, whenever a laser is spawned, a particle will also be spawned. You don't have to do anything for that in the event sheet, actually. So that's about it. I want to show you one last thing. If I double click here on the layout, you'll see that it's actually a horizontal layout. Uh, so the laser is, is put horizontally inside the sprite. And there is one image point here at the left hand side. But because this is rotated in an angle of 90 degrees, you can see that here that image point is here at the bottom. And that's important because you'll see what it's what it's for in just a minute. Um, so this is the event sheet. And what's happening here? Because the line of sight behavior of the laser is set to custom, we need to tell the laser which obstacles to search for, which obstacles are to stop the laser actually. And that's very easy. Uh, we need to call an action called add obstacle. From the laser and then we just tell it which object types are to be its obstacles and you see here we have two uh, instance or two actions here uh, one for the tile background which is the blue one and one for the laser wall which is the, the green and then here the magic happens actually every tick so constantly for uh, each laser on the on the um, on the layout we're going to cast a ray and casting a ray is actually like um, like a, a beam, a beam uh, compared to a beam of light, of a, of a flashlight for example, we're casting in a certain direction. And when we do that, there is a from coordinate, from x and y, to a to coordinate. We're, we're uh, pointing the beam towards, from our perspective, from our position towards another position on the layout. So our position means self x and self y. And 2, the self x, and the self y plus 2,000. 
that means that if this is laser here it goes from here to uh, x plus 2000 which is way back here under the layout so from there to there it's casting array in a very small cone of view the cone of view is only 0.1 so it's a very narrow very long beam we're casting but that doesn't do anything when you cast a ray you don't see that visually it's just the uh, ray casting is just to check if that obstacle if it if there is an obstacle somewhere along that beam it just tells you uh, if i were to cast a ray an invisible ray toward that direction would i hit something yes or no and construct tells you that you hit something using an event called ray intersected this is an event line of sight ray intersected whenever you do that uh, you have uh, you have two um, expressions at your uh, disposal to check where that has been hit where the where the, the ray has been has been hitting an object actually uh, from uh, when, it, when it intersected and those two expressions are hit x and hit y and this is one we're going to hear we're going to do here uh, so what happens here uh, the width of the laser is set to the hit y coordinate minus the self y coordinate so that's the exact distance between the place where the ray intersected and its own y coordinate uh, but it's setting the width because actually the laser is horizontal if you remember and it's just rotated 90 degrees so we have to set the width and not the height and if the ray didn't intersect anything we just set the height to a ridiculously high value so it's just appearing to go off the, uh, the layout actually and the last thing that's done that um, is the particles object which is in the same container as the laser object so it's spawned automatically and picked automatically as well uh, together with the laser it belongs to it's just set at the position uh, of the laser image point one and that's the image point i showed you earlier that's where it's set to so that's it that's how this works hope you liked it as always please like and subscribe and see you next time.